Welcome, welcome, my meaty writers, and in this episode we're going to gorge ourselves on the fleshy subject of steaks. Mmm. Thanks for supporting this channel so far, and please take time to like, subscribe and share. And if you want more support and help for uh, screenwriters and novelists, then please visit www.clickimagination.com. So from the outset in devising your story, there are a few fundamental questions that you need to ask. Firstly is, who is the hero? Second, what is it they want? Third, why do they want it? And then fourth, stroke fifth, who is it trying to stop them and why? Whatever it is the hero needs to achieve, there needs to be real peril if they fail, and that is both emotional and physical. In the 2014 Doug Lyman directed Edge of Tomorrow, Tom Cruise has it about as tough as it gets. You control the power now, just as I did in Verdun. So I'm resetting the day? Okay. How do I control it? You have to die. Every day. Until the Omega's destroyed. And if you've not seen that movie, by the way, then I recommend checking it out. It really is one of the most overlooked sci-fi films of the last few years. With a high wire act, we have a clear objective, we have stakes and we have jeopardy. Our performer is clearly getting from here to here and the jeopardy is created by the distance from the ground. If they fail, which is to say they fall off, it's pretty much fatal. The stakes and the jeopardy keep the audience biting their nails with every wobble of the performer. The wobble, of course, is actually uh, part of the act and is designed for that exact effect. The high wire performer is undoubtedly a professional who's probably honed his craft, having spent hundreds of hours up on the wire. However, the trick here is to take the audience and place them on the high wire themselves. This is empathy, which we've covered in another video, but it's absolutely paramount in creating that tension and fear in the audience as the performance unfolds. In the 2015 Eaton Cohen film Get Hard, Will Farrell, a businessman who's pretty much got life as easy as it could possibly be, suddenly finds himself on the wrong side of the law. For too long, wealthy white-collar offenders like you have gotten a free pass with light sentences in minimum security prison while working Americans have suffered. Well, that ends today, Mr. King. I sentence you to the harshest penalty allowed. Ten years in a maximum security prison. You have 30 days to get your affairs in order. Run them over! I can't go to jail. I'll die in there. If the high wire isn't actually very high and is only, say, a couple of feet from the ground, then suddenly all of that jeopardy is lost, and so too is any tension in the audience. Oh dear, has my poor little low wire performer fallen off and grazed your wee knee? Oh, come here and I'll kiss it better. Raising a wire to 20 feet above the ground doesn't technically change the job for the performer. However, it does fundamentally change the nature of that journey. In The Edge of Tomorrow, Tom Cruise literally has to die every day in order to save the world. Will Farrell isn't going to serve his time in a fluffy little open prison. He's going to a maximum security penitentiary uh, and serve hard time. God knows what he's in for when he's inside. When it comes to personal stakes, always consider your audience. Stakes will be rooted in empathy, so it needs to be something that the audience can relate to. That doesn't mean that they have, have had to directly experience that dilemma for themselves, they just need to understand what it means to the hero. If you watch The Edge of Tomorrow or Get Hard, you'll know exactly what I mean. Let me know in the comments section below if you've got any meaty examples of steaks in the movies that you love. And no, I don't mean the sirloin kind. Thanks for supporting this channel and please take time to jabby jab jab the like and subscribe and the bell notifications and all that sort of stuff. And if you want all of the other bits and pieces to help you with your screenplay, then please visit clickimagination.com or follow the link wherever it appears.
Best of luck with your writing, and I'll see you in the next video. I love steaks. Steak in the morning, steak in the evening, steak for my lunch, and steak for my tea. Give me steaks, give me steaks, give me steaks. If it wasn't for steaks, I'd be out of my mind.